you so much for your time today. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem at all. Um, definitely, uh, definitely, you know, celebrating your new single, uh, Remnant. And I already got that in my head, right? <laughs> like it's uh, That's awesome. <laughs> I, I put a, a, a few of your songs on my, on my uh, playlist and I was at the gym earlier and it's stuck. That is a song that's stuck in my head of all your songs. Awesome. Awesome. That's good to hear. <laughs> so tell, tell me, a, 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 okay, I'm going to butcher the name. Okay. Ignescent? Yeah, Ign- that's it. Ignescent. Oh, freaking A, I didn't butcher it. Got it. Um, let's start there with the the name. Um, what does it mean and what does it mean to you guys? Um, well, it means to ignite. So it's to ignite people's hearts on fire um, with music and with our message. And um, it's funny that like I was just trying to find something different and um, something that meant something like that. And so I, honestly, I was going, going through a dictionary and going through like um, the A's, the you know B's and so on. And I know it sounds kind of crazy, but um, then I was in the eyes and I saw Ignescent. I'm like, what does that mean? Because I thought it was just a, a cool word. And when I read the definition, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's, that's the band name. <laughs> so. What were some of the other names that were like on the list? Like, oh, maybe this one, but then you saw that and it's 100% it. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Um, one was Illuminate, but I'm like, that's not too many. There weren't many, actually. There weren't too many. It was just a few, just that and Ignis and stuff. <laughs> awesome yeah it's always funny huh it's always sort of hard to find out what your first like to find a name because it has yeah. to like embody who you are and yeah you, know, you have to love it and yeah definitely hold on we'll stop. okay okay yeah <laughs> i didn't expect that one all right um yeah. All right. So, um, so let's go to your single, um, Remnant. Um, what is, what is the song about in, in your, as in your, from your point of view? Yeah. Um, well, Remnant is like something small that uh, is remaining after a tragedy. And so, um, it was basically taken out of what happened with COVID and, you know, all the tragic losses, um, people being sick and um, dying and um, lives being lost. And, but um, as far as in our perspective, it was more uh, what was happening with the bands and, you know, music, everything just kind of died in the live scene because of it. And, um, and I, you know, I mean, musicians and uh, actually, you know, they took a, a big, big hit. And um, I know a lot of people quit and a lot of bands quit. And for me, I, I just, you know, wanted to say to the world, no matter what happens, no matter what tragedy, no matter what heartache that we're not going to quit and we're here to stay, we're the remnant. And so that's, oh, that's, that's kind that's of cool. what it is. Yeah. That's really and cool. That's really thoughtful. Hope and um, too. And because obviously it, I mean, this is such a crazy time, right? We never thought this would happen. At least I never thought something like this would ever happen. And um, a lot, you know, I mean, it's it's really heartbreaking, um, just everything that happened. And also with the kids, they, you know, they couldn't even go to school and um, for a while and uh, see their friends and socialize. And, um, and just, we all have our different stories, of course, in different ways. And so to me, it was just like super heartbreaking. And um, so I wanted to, you know, to give that message of hope um, out there that, you know, even though times are hard, let's not give up. We're in this together and let's keep fighting and keep going. What do you think would have happened? In, like, I'm, I'm, old, I'm a little older. Uh-huh. Um, like when I was going to school, like with the, because you mentioned the kids and the first thing that came to my mind is like, what would happen if we're like 20 years ago? Yeah. Uh, and because there wasn't worldwide internet, worldwide computers at that time, there was no Zoom. Like, what would have happened to the yeah. whole world? 
Yeah. Like, that's a scary thought. That is a good point. Like we were just this close, like at any given moment without yeah. the internet. Yeah. To just collapse. Yeah, that's true. That is true. And actually, yeah, that's a good point. We're fortunate that, and the kids are fortunate that we do have the internet and everything so they could, you know, stay connected and, um, and obviously you could still do interviews and for musicians and all that. So in that way, the timing is, I guess, not that it's good ever, obviously it's bad, but um, now then back then, because yeah, at least we could stay connected with the internet. So that's, that's an interesting thought. So. So you're, you're ba- you guys are, are you guys based out of Chicago? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're based out of the Chicago area. How does, because like we're sort of open here in California. I'm in California. Oh, okay. um, we're sort of open. You know, we're a real liberal city, which I believe okay. you guys are as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but the shows, like I threw, I threw something in November, uh-huh. threw something in December. I threw something earlier this month. And no, I mean, we're getting like 30, 40% audience. Wow. Um, how is the scene where you're at? Um, well, I haven't done a show in the actual city of Chicago in a little bit, but in the suburbs, um, we played at um, a few different places and the attendance was actually uh, pretty good. We played at the Forge in Joliet. And then um, in the summer, we played at Rock Fest in Wisconsin. Um, I'm trying to remember. Um, there's a few other places. But yeah, actually, the attendance was actually really, really good. I was surprised and I didn't know what to expect. And I think people were just um, missing that connection and missing the live shows that they were so excited just to get out there. So yeah, I, honestly, it's it's been a good uh, experience and the attendance has been pretty, uh, pretty good. Surprisingly. Good. Yeah. I mean, there are some shows, don't get me wrong. Like there's some shows um, in, in California that do real well, especially with the younger crowds, you know, um, okay. like a lot of the EDM stuff, that yeah. one ridiculous sold out um, wow. certain hip hop acts. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, okay. So how did you guys, how did you guys pivot during this COVID time? Um, Well, since there weren't, you know, any live shows or anything like that, we just decided to start writing songs and working on a new uh, EP and um, and recording. And we actually did a music video as well during that time um, to Exodus and for Remnant. So we kind of focused on those things since there wasn't much live shows, just, you know, writing, recording, um, doing music videos, getting ready for the time when we could do live shows again and, um, you know, doing some interviews too. Um, So at least we were able to kind of keep going in that way. Um, So definitely thankful for that. Let's go. Um, Tell me about the beginning of of your journey as a singer, and also if you can roll into the beginning of the band. Like, when did you know that music is your thing and you wanted to go and chase this dream down? Yeah, um, I actually started out dancing when I was really young. I would take uh, ballet and just different kind of dance dance forms, and then uh, or dance classes. But then my friends started taking voice lessons when I was fifteen. And I'm like, oh, wow, that sounds kind of cool. And so I asked who our teacher was and signed up right away and uh, started singing and just fell in love with it. I actually just quit dancing and focused on that. And um, I started um, writing some songs as well. And then I started singing at church, too. Um, Me, too. So, really? Yeah. Cool. Very cool. I was, I'm a horrible singer. Don't get me wrong. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a singer. <laughs> but yeah, and just that, I, honestly, that's when I fell in love, love and I, um, yeah, I never quit. And then I didn't start a band until a little bit later. Um, and I had some things that sidetracked me in life. And um, 
So I, um, one day I'm like, I, I just got to do this. You know, I, I've been wanting to start a band and do this forever. And I just, I have to just try and see what happens. So I uh, put out an ad in uh, Craigslist, oddly enough. And, um, and it works. Some- Craigslist is best. I know it works, right? It's, <laughs> you never know, but it works. So, and then people responded. I did auditions and um, it just, kind of grew from there and I started you know trying to figure out this whole music business and on my own and like what what do we do next and started to book shows and started to record and with the band and kind of went from there that's awesome I mean the way you you guys put your music together and your voice especially is amazing like I really enjoy it I think it's beautiful um and it, it leaves me wanting more and, and it's it's catchy it's it's there's a there's a your hooks are very catchy and the music is is pretty is really really well well wit- written um i i when I, when shauna sent me this i was like yes a hundred percent thank you um so that's awesome i'm i'm glad um ascension the ep drops um the 4th of march this year mm-hmm. um yeah, the you guys will be in our magazine for that um what are, are is goodbye on that is goodbye no. That? no no goodbye was released a little while ago so remnant the single just dropped january 21st but remnant will be on there and then three other songs so a total of four songs nice and Tell me about this out al- uh, this album. Um, tell me, uh, like, what does it mean to you guys, and and what was the thought process going through while creating this album? Excuse mm-hmm. me. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, it was a lot of the messages, kind of what um, the world was going through, um, and I mean, I honestly, I, I struggled. Um, Uh, a lot um, during that time. Um, It was, I mean, we all did, but it was just a time that, uh, I mean, I didn't feel (laughs) that great. I was kind of depressed, you know, it's just um, the world was, is, was upside down. It still is, you know, not as much, but it still is upside down. And just, um, I just wanted to kind of get uh, my uh, thoughts and my emotions out. And that's, you know, music is a great way to do that. And so, um, but I also wanted to encourage others and, you know, like I mentioned before, just that there is hope. Um, This is not the end, there is hope, let's keep going. And so that's a lot of, um, a lot of the message. And we worked with Cameron Pierce Mizell, who's worked with uh, Memphis Mayfire and Sleeping with Sirens. He produced three of the songs and he produced Remnant. And then we worked with uh, Nick Radanovic, who's worked with Skillet, which is one of my like all time favorite bands. And he um, mixed in um, and edited one of our, a ballad that we wrote called Anymore. And so I've always wanted to work with him. So that was kind of exciting to be able to do. And so those are the songs on the EP and, um, and one of them is called um, Better Left Forgotten. Um, and the lyric in that is my love grew cold and rotten. I'm better left forgotten. And that's just like the honest feelings and emotions that I was going through in that time. I mean, we're not, none of us are ever better left forgotten, you know, <laughs> obviously. Um, but that's just, you know, sometimes I like to just be honest, you know, what I'm feeling and, um, and thinking. And so that's kind of um, one of the um, lyrics uh, in that EP that's coming out and uh, the message behind that. And then Remnant, of course, is more a message of, you know, here we are in your face, you know, don't give up. <laughs> um, so it's How kind of like- Hulk up from that situation. Because yeah. a lot of people, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people in the world, you know, especially with the, the especially with social media and when everyone mm-hmm. putting out their best life, it's real easy to fall into a funk, a depression. It's real easy to uh, be hopeless. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and for the people that might be out there that are looking for any answers, mm-hmm. well, how did you get yourself out of that situation? Um, and are you out of it? I mean, it might not yeah. be, you might not be out. 
Right. Um, you know, I, I, I go back and forth. I have good days and bad days. Um, a lot of it is just uh, spending time with family and friends, people that love me and that I love. Um, another one is um, God. Like he's, God is first in my life. Um, and um, he's the one I depend on. So um, praying, um, asking others to pray for me, spending time reading um, uh, his word. And um, that's what keeps me sane, honestly. <laughs> I could not do it without God. Um, there's just no way. And um, so that's definitely, um, and people in my church have helped a lot. I mean, they, they're awesome. So I'm so thankful for that. And then a little bit of running always helps get the endorphins. Running. <laughs> so that helps. I, I gained so much weight during the COVID. Did like, you? I was just pounding soda. Like I'm not a beer drinker. Yeah. I don't drink wine or anything, but right, yeah. uh, I was just soda. Oh, fuck it. Four or five a day. I don't care. You know, right. Right. I know. I'm like, <laughs> just putting them back, putting them back. Yeah. And and I was like, oh, I'm like, I couldn't tie my shoes no more because my big old belly was in the way. Really? <laughs> uh, I mean, I've lost like 30 pounds since June. So I'm I'm way better than I was. Um, That's awesome. But I remember I was like, I'm going to go run. And I, yeah. I put together, I spent like 25 minutes putting together a playlist. Uh -huh. And I put on uh, like Hulk Hogan's Real American on there. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, I'm going to run. And then I felt like something in my calf pop. Oh, and I was like, my oh gosh. no. And then the Eye of the Tiger came on after that Hulk Hogan song. And I was like, just like Rocky, go. I ended really? up <laughs> I, I pulled a muscle in my calf and I had to stay off it for six weeks. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> so back to soda. Really? That's hilarious. <laughs> Not funny that you're hurt, but I, I get it. <laughs> I, I literally finished a mile with the whatever was wrong with my calf. Wow. That's awesome. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I know. We're going to just down totally relate because I, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go, go, go. Sorry. Um, yeah, I can totally relate. I gained like 20 pounds. And so of course that adds to everything. Cause you're like, oh my gosh, I'm fat. I'm not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I can relate. But then once the gyms open back up, I'm like, I'm there, I'm there. And then I actually found a treadmill too. Thankfully my friend was selling a tre treadmill. So I got on there and I lost it, but yeah, I was so frustrated. Like everyone was like, I, yeah, I gained like 20 pounds and I'm like, <laughs> oh, this sucks. <laughs> Yeah. Well, now, like my my workout regimen now is I I go in the sauna for forty five minutes a day. Oh, um, wow. I do at, at least an hour of working like bench press or not bench or like lifting weights, oh. and and then I do um, I either run or walk at ten thousand footsteps. That's every day, that's every day, awesome. and not Sundays though, obviously, but uh -huh. um, it's a Good family you. day, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good though. Good for you. All right. So let's downshift a little bit and let's, let's get into some fun questions, fun -er questions, right? Okay. <laughs> um, get to know you a little bit. Let's see, like it's creative. You can have creative answers with these. Okay. And uh, you're creative. And I would, just, I assumed you like this. Okay. Um, what is your favorite lyric that you've written? Really good question. Um, wow. Well, I mean, not to keep talking about remnant, but I do like. <laughs> <laughs> can you see us now? We're the remnant, or do you see us now? It's like kind of out there in your face. I, I do like that. Um, and um, yeah, I, I would say. I would say that and some of the lyrics in Goodbye, Calling Out to You is from a while ago. Um, that one I like too. It's I'm calling out to you in the middle of the night. I don't know what to do. I'm torn up inside. But that's another one. But I would say, yeah, probably Remnant is my favorite one. <laughs> All right. If you had a dream concert, if you had to go to a dream concert, and yeah. it's you, had, you can pick four people alive or dead. Okay. And one of them is going to be the headliner. Who's on your dream concert? Uh, four, four people, uh, or four bands. 
or just yeah four bands okay all right um i would say skillet definitely i love skillet um red they're awesome <laughs> uh evanescence i love i love her voice and she's incredible um and also uh, fly leaf i am a huge fan your 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 style really reminds me of Flyleaf. Really? Yes. Okay. I know in the thing it, it says like Evanescence, but to me, like I just connect with uh -huh. Flyleaf with you. Okay. Cool. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me being ignorant or whatever, just spouting off something off the top of my head. But it really, I can really, I I sense a little bit of inspiration there. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Um, what is your mom or dad's signature dish? Oh, that's a really good question. <laughs> um, my mom's signature dish is um, chicken uh, with like broccoli, um, cheddar soup and stuffing. She makes that or else she used to make this thing called chip beef on toast. Have you heard of that? Yes, my mom I, used to make that. Really? That's so weird. <laughs> yeah. So my dad used to call it SOS. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I used to love it. What is did she put like I don't even know. Like I don't talk to my mom. My mom's weird. Um is there like flour in it? I can't remember. All I remember is like corned beef with like this cream on toast. And I don't mm -hmm. even know how it was made. But she, yeah, she still makes that sometimes too. It's, I don't know, but not many people know about or know, have heard of that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I thought I remember like running by as a little kid, like looking up and seeing her put the blue bag of flour inside while okay. she's stirring it up. And okay. I used to love it. I used to really like it. I put pepper on it. Yeah. Extra pepper. Yeah. Because I thought I was like, I like hot stuff, you know, when I was a little kid. Give me more oh, pepper, yeah. like pepper's hot or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a big boy. I eat pepper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, how have you almost died? I hope I almost died. Um, hmm. Well, the other day, I actually almost choked on a vitamin. <laughs> like I was taking some vitamin super C's and they're super, they're huge. They're like really big. Yeah, yeah. And chalky. And like, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> but I'm okay. And <laughs> thankfully it went down. Um, that's, yeah, that's an interesting question. That happened. Um, I've almost, uh, well, no, that's not a death thing. I don't know. I've been pretty lucky. I've been, I've been actually pretty safe, but yeah, that's one way. All right. And my last question, my last question for you, and probably the most important question, right? Yeah. yeah. What tooth or teeth do you brush first? Oh for instance, gosh. me, I go first. Ah, you do. Nice, nice. Well, I have an electric toothbrush. And okay. so I the right first. So I'm like this way, and then this way, and then to the left, and then all around in. <laughs> uh, I think I, re I the only reason I do that is because I, I want to say there's a, a video like den maybe Dennis the Menace when I was a little kid, like in the 90s. And uh -huh. He used to brush his teeth and it was just toothpaste everywhere. Oh, and yeah. I, so ever since I was a kid, I do that. Uh -huh. My wife hates me. There's toothpaste right. everywhere, all over everything. And <laughs> still do it like I'm Dennis the Menace. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You are an amazing person. You have amazing music. And I am rooting for you to go freaking kill them. You are the remnant and go murder it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate you having me on here. No problem. Thank you so much for, you know, hanging out with us. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a good day. All right, you too. Bye.